Well, hello, YouTube, and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. So, I moved my camera stand. Oh, we'll see how this works. Actually, it's not too bad. I just can't see as well as I would like into the, the camera itself. Um, it's like right here. <laughs> um, it's off to the side of the desk. It's not on this container thing that I liked it the overhead that it projected for me anyway so welcome to my channel so i am continuing on with my paper pumpkin alternatives for october 2023's home for the holidays this is video number 18 and this is three little boxes you guys i almost did like a box to spell out merry christmas and i was like oh no that would take forever so i did ho 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 each box is going to say ho ho and ho because i was like i gotta shorten this down but boy so this is the sampling of my first let me show you in the blue this is my grandson's um paper airplane paper i keep in my desk so when he comes out and he asks for paper this is what i give him so i used it as my sample and i'm also going to show you all right, where's my three boxes? I tried three different sizes. Oh, uh, so I ended up with three different sizes. I, I might do videos in December on these two sizes, but this is the size we're going for. It is a two and three eighths. Well, this one says two and a quarter, doesn't it? This one is two and a quarter. The one we're actually making, oh, cause it's the lid. This is the inside. Okay. The inside of the box measures two and a quarter. Yes. The lid measures two and three eighths surface wise, this area. So isn't that cute? Got a message on the inside. On the outside, this one doesn't have anything on the outside, but I thought I had such a good time. That's why I did it in white. And now we're going to go over everything you're going to need. We're going to make two together and we're going to finish off number one so let's see my notes i had to scratch all that out um see i started doing merry christmas and ho 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 and then it's like oh my goodness we got to get this straight so box number cut one we need to cut three this size because we're doing three boxes we need three that are four and a quarter by four and a quarter we're just doing white paper four and three eighths by four and three eighths all of these are going to be scored at one inch all around the sides we're going to do two of those together so you'll get to see it twice layer number one we're going to be using this bit left over from an envelope this side of it we're going to cut it down to two and an eighth by two and an eighth then for we're going to do that for the envelope add-on. For the card base, I have chosen to use. I'm going to split this in right here just about. And I'm going to get these two trees on both sides with ho and ho on it. Hmm. And I still need that to be two and an eighth by two and an eighth. So let's get started with our boxes. And you'll get to see the rest of the goodies to go on it. I am using... I have not got to use You Are Always Loved, and I know this is retired, but we are going to You Are Always Loved Merry Christmas, because I, I really like that. Um, the Country Wreath Dies, we are using this wreath and this little bow, and we got two in Mossy Meadow and one in Old Olive, and of course, I love the Alphabet Alamo Dies, which we did in Ho Ho Ho. So our box now I said told you we're going to do two of them together I need my trimmer which I just put something on top of it so here we go so we have two that are two and a quarter and two that are two, two and a quarter two that are four and a quarter and two that are four and three eighths so just so you guys can see how easy it really is Stay away from the dark blade. Use the lighter blade. One, two, and three. And we're going to turn to one inch. And we're going to repeat this on all four sides. One, two, and three. 
turn. All four sides. One, two, and three. Turn. You can make these little ornaments. One, two, and three. You can make them a Christmas countdown. So there's one. This is the bottom. So again, the measurement is four and a quarter squared. One, two, and three. And then we're scoring at one inch. One, two, three on all four sides. One, two, and three. Three is my magic number. For scoring it, that is one, two, and three. Now we have these two done. We're going to set these aside over there. We're going to pick up the four and three eighths. We're going to score, guess what, at one inch. Yep, one inch. One, two, and three, but this is four and three eighths squared. But we are scoring at one inch. One, two, and three on both. The four and a quarter squared. One, two, three, and the four and three eighths squared. I'm probably going to say that again. Two and three. There's one done. And I'm going to say it again. So this is four and three eighths. Start our scoring at one inch. One, two, three. Take it out. Turn it. Score it again at one inch. One, two, and three. Take it out, turn it, get it to the one inch. One, two, and three. Take it out, turn it, and score at one inch. One, two, three. Now the fun part, and I had to stamp on these guys. It was too much fun, not, I mean, you just, I just had to. So, this is make sure the four and three eighths ones are our lids. This is where we're going to stamp on the outside, but let's stamp on the inside of these. So one of them I want to stamp and I want all the sentiment bits stamped in real red. So you are always loved. I'm going to put that right in the center of that one. And this is from the Christmas Scotty. And on this one, I'm going to put the Merry Christmas if it'll stay on the block. Merry Christmas. This is on the inside bottom. I'm going to set those aside because we're done. Now we're going to pick up those little tiny holly leaves. I'm not going to close up my real red because we're going to go back to it. But I'm going to come in with my little holly leaves and do my little trio that I've been doing this whole time. So that's one inside. This is the other one. One, two, and my husband got his deer today. He was so happy. I am so happy. <laughs> Hunting season is over. <laughs> so this is our lid. This is the four and three eighths scored all the way around at, excuse me, at one inch. Everything is scored at one inch. So to start this one off, on our inside, what are we going to use? I didn't pull out anything else. Celebrate the wonder and joy. I already did that one. I already did that one. So let's grab Happy Holidays and we're going to have to get something to mask it. We'll do Happy and Holidays and we want real red. So we're going to do happy, hopefully. I'm just using, nope, I need more of the real red on there. Happy. Now I'm going to turn it around and ink up the other half and do holidays. I hope that we got to cover up happy to get holiday on here. There we go. Happy holidays. We're going to bring in our little wreaths in one, two, 
I could have centered it more, but it's okay. So there's one lid done except for the inside of the lid. We still have to do it around the outside. We're just working on the inside. And you're going to see this one was using the Celebrate the Wonder and Joy of this festive season. This one had Ho, Ho, Ho at the bottom. Wonder, wonder, wonder. Oh, you know what? Let's do the Santa in his sleigh on the inside. So we are going to do this in Black Momento. All right. We're going to be different on this one. I think we can get it in there. We're going to go it just like that. And yes, I'm still going to put Holly in here. Because I can. Got to move that across. Move the black away from myself. We're going to go one, two, and three, and one, two, and three. So this is one lid, and we're not done with that either. So this is the inside. Now we're going to cut. Now, what you need to do is pick a top and bottom. So if you cut here and here, you're going to cut directly opposite. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut straight up the center and straight up the center. Now I'm going to cut a pie, not from the center piece, from the outside. And I don't care if it, they're all even. To me, it just doesn't matter. You're not going to notice it. It's just going to help it close a little easier. So up the center and on the outside. That's one, you can see the dark bit out. So on this one, choose up the center, a little bit up high. Let me grab that out of there. Up the center, and I almost did it on the inside. You wanna do it on the outside, directly opposite. Now you're gonna do this for all of the top and the bottom ones. So up the center, and a little bit of pie from the outside. Make sure you get those little bits out. So there's tops. The bottom, I'm gonna keep it going the same direction. Turn it around, do the direct opposite side. Do the outside, not the inside. That's the bottom. Last bottom one we're doing together, but hopefully by seeing me repeat this, you guys get a good feel for how easy these little boxes are. And they are. If I can do this, anybody can do this, okay? This was not my strong suit to begin with when I was first started paper crafting. This was not my strong suit. I wouldn't call it my strong suit now, but I can do it. I can do it. So now that we have all of that done, our two bottoms, we're not going to do anything with the sides. We're going to set those over there. But now this is the way it goes. So this is our top, right? So it's going to go like this. We are going to decorate and stamp here, here, and here. And I chose that little Douglas fir tree. And I'm choosing to come in with Mossy Meadow. And you're going to stamp in the center and the side. We're putting three on each side. So one, two, and they're all going to be the same around the outside. So we're going to get that one to the side and then we're going to color it in. You just get to see me repeat this. Two. Now we're going to color this in with Pear Pizzazz Stampin' Right Marker because I don't have an old olive anymore. It got too bad and I had to toss it. And I haven't had the opportunity or the funds to buy me a new one. I'm being flat out honest with you guys. Um, so let's go. Oh, we're going to color it. So I have Pear Pizzazz. 
and we're just going to color, color, color. I know Pear Pizzazz is retired, but it will do the job. I mean, if you wanted to use an alcohol marker, alcohol markers in water-based ink doesn't always fare well together in my, my opinion. So I tend to stay away from mixing the two, um, but you can. But it will really smear the uh, mossy meadow and I didn't want that. Now you could have children do this and let them color in with like children's Crayola markers, something like that. This would be a great little teacher's gift that your kids could make or grandkids could make. This would be a great Christmas countdown, ornaments for the tree. Um, this would be a great little place setting for your Christmas table. I really love that um, Christmas Scotty that says you are always loved. I really love that. So that's how simple that was. Now on the other sides, we're going to close up Mossy Meadow and I'm going to bring in the real red and I'm going to ink me up in the process. So let me wipe that off real quick. I know it's just what happens to me. So we're going to do Santa Claus is coming to town on one side. Making sure. See, Santa is coming to town. Oh, we're doing him on both sides. Oh, I wonder if Ho 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 will fit on the other side. We're going to do Ho Ho Ho. So there's Ho Ho Ho. And Santa Claus is coming to town. And we will stamp the holly in just a minute so ho 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 I want to move those way 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 away from me and Santa Claus is coming to town ho 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 the sleigh is all from um, the October 2022 paper pumpkin so we're done with the real red we're bringing back our old olive for the holly <laughs> Of course we are. You should know that we were going to bring in the holly. Three little bits of holly. So there's the top of our box. Well, these are the sides, but this is the top piece to our boxes. And then we're going to put them together and decorate them. And like I said, I cut two mossy meadow of the country wreath dyes and one old olive well the old olive was already cut i already had it in my stash of supplies so let's get these put together now i did use just wet glue you can see our little boxes here so we need to get a bone folder Go over all four edges. Okay. I'm just, oops, I did it the wrong way. We might have to fold it the right way. We want the Merry Christmas on the inside. So we just are having to go over it again. In. Yikes. In. In. And we're going to use wet glue and then we're going to repeat one more time. So wet glue here and here. You could use whatever it is that you would like to use to close it up. I'm finding that the wet glue is suiting me just fine. It gives me that little bit of wiggle room that I tend to need. So then we just bring these in. So 
So those one inner boxes, we have one, two, and you are always loved. I do love that. We're just going to score all of these inward towards our stamping. Might help. All right. This way, and then we're going to do the lids. So we have our three inner boxes done. One lid for that one. Let's work on these. So these you want to fold in towards where we stamped in the middle. The trees are going to be on the outside. Santa Claus is coming to down trees on the outside and ho 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 on the outside so our little tab oops, that one didn't get scored so trees and trees and give it a pinch for a minute and it's going to be great so, I still have that rustic Christmas countdown, and I will tell you what I was thinking of doing for Hank. I was thinking about putting $1 in a piece of candy, of course, in every single one. And then on the 25th, I'm going to put a note in there redeemable for a $25 Roblox gift card. I'm really going to do that. I think he will just get the biggest kick. And I, well, dollars. Okay. I'm not going to put a dollar bill. I want to get Eisenhower dollars, which means I'm going to have to start um, hounding banks for Eisenhower dollars. I have some, um, but I need 24 of them. And then I'm going to put those Eisenhower dollars, of course, away in the safe for him. So I can always use them, you know, year after year. I do that with $2 bills to pay him, pay him with crisp $2 bills, and then he can get electric money <laughs> when he wants something online, like Roblox money. So I just thought that would be really cute. I was thinking of that today. What am I going to put in that this year? And I thought, hmm, Eisenhower dollars. I need to start hounding banks and, you know, searching banks. And some places can order some. And if I can get 24 of those by, you know, December and then put a note. And, of course, I have to have the Roblox gift card on hand. And that will be one of his gifts that he will slowly open a little by little. But he's going to have to keep all of the Eisenhower dollars safe. That's going to be another thing is teaching him how to t keep things. Oops. So top and bottom. Look at that. So cute. Top and bottom. So cute. Top and bottom. So there's our three little boxes. Cute, huh? Let's get them decorated. It's bugging me. I got to have all the Santa Clauses come into town facing me. So we need to cut this open. So we need to move that and grab the guillotine. We need to open up our envelope. Because I need a piece. Because this is just for the one. This is for the center box. Where's my notebook? I believe it's two and one eighth by two and an eighth. Yes, that's what I need. And I want to use this piece here. So we're going to cut off this piece. It's going to go over there. 
So we need two and one eighth, which is right there by two and one eighth. And hopefully I got this right. Cause I did want that little bit of a white border. Ooh, so cool. That is what I want. So we're going to glue this down to, well, this was meant to be the center one, but that's okay. So there's that one. Now we need to get to our card base. I'm going to set that aside. Oops. We're going to cut our card base aside. I have no fear that I will use it, all of it. So I'm going to cut off this white piece. That will come in handy. Now, two and one eighth is right there. So I need to take a little off of this side because I want the trees kind of centered on here. So let's look at it again. That looks really good. So two and an eighth. And then I want to get my trees somewhat centered. And I'm thinking that'll do it. So this is one. <laughs> you of course could layer something else up in there, but I was keeping it quite simple. At least I thought I was. So now we're going to work on this piece and keep in mind, we're going to try to keep our moon in there. So we're going to cut it here. We're going to turn it this way. Yes. And then turn it again to and one eighth. I want to, might have to shave a little bit more off of the moon and let's see. Yes. So there we have our moon. You could have done colored cardstock. These are going to get destroyed, so I wasn't going to invest that much in them as far as the cost of cardstock. Now, where's my bits and pieces, guys? Here we go. All right. So my ho ho hos are in here. My wreaths are in here. My little bows are in there. So the two mossy meadows and the one old olive. The old olive is in the center. I know that for sure. But I have to determine this little bit got stuck in there. Nope. We want the Knight of Navy. Ho, ho, ho. What I'm trying to determine right now, guys, is where my bow is going to go. So let's grab a bow out of here, maybe. I think it needs to go at the bottom because I want it to cover up. Yes. So my bow is going at the bottom. So now that I know that, we are going to get the glue on here. All the way around. There we go. And I have candy for it. Oh, lots of glue that needs to dry. <laughs> So we're going to put our little bow here. And our hoe is going on as well. I just love these dies. I love the size of them. To me, they're not too fat and chunky. They're just right. So we're going to stick this under, I probably should have put that on after. So there's our H. It's a good thing my dry, glue dries clear. Because boy, that is messy looking. But it does dry perfectly clear and you cannot see it. That needs to get wiped off. Don't wet that on there. a little bit better with the glue hopefully under the bow so let's set this one aside 
And yes, we're putting a bow on top of, I mean, a wreath on top of this. And we're doing the mossy meadow because I will tell you, I looked at the old olive and it just got lost. It did not do farewell. So there is, that's much better. I had way too much glue on the other ones. One little bow. Now the yellow, the bow is in Bumblebee because I ran out of Daffodil Delight scraps and I didn't feel like cutting up a whole sheet. And my letters, if you look at them, these are part of the envelope. That Do you remember the project where I glued them onto white and I had that scrap bit? So I started with that and I just did the letters, continued on. Somewhere there's another O laying around here. Not sure where it disappeared to. That's when I decided to start putting the letters in the box that I made. Because I was like, okay, I'm losing my mind. It was driving me nuts. I plan on doing a scrapbook layout. At least a couple pages for my basic black album. I cannot wait to get into that and take pictures this year for Christmas. So this is box number two. Number three, once again, oh, that one's, this is number one. Number two is the old olive. Oh, that one, it's going to come off. Oh, our moon is going to be covered up. That's all right. Now, you could have put little houses on here, but if I put the houses on here, guys, I wouldn't have been able to do the ho, 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 and I really like the ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I guess you guys can tell I'm a Santa fan, huh? Oh, I am. I'm going to go check on my husband here him, the neighbors, and the other people he's helped get deer out of the woods. They're all down there in the garage. The day before the end of the season. I am so happy for him. And for us, because we really do, I do, we do eat it. Uh, I would prefer to eat venison over um, ground meat or I don't eat hamburgers at all. I like veggie burgers, to tell you the truth. I like a spicy black bean burger. Absolutely love it. Oh, and I have two letters, which I don't know where the O's are. Somewhere there are matching O's that go with those. I just don't know where they're at. So, see, happy holidays, though. I got, should have paid more attention. It doesn't matter. Now let's fill these up with some candies. So what did I get? So this is how they're going to, oops, that's how it's going to flip right off, right? Because it didn't have time to set. So, so cute. So what do I have? I have some caramel, some of these mints. Now Hank's not going to like any of these, but they didn't have any Reese's peanut butter cups, so I will get some. I was at the dollar store. A couple of these. You could do a whole bunch of these are cookies and cream. Let's see. I think you can fit two of these in there in each one because I tried this. And then you can fit either a winter green or a lifesaver. And I need one more. Winter green is in the room. Or you can do a whole bunch of mint. It's up to you. So we're going to make sure Merry Christmas is in there. A mint in there. So there's one little box. This little box has the caramel. And these two little guys snug up in there. And this one... I mean, if you wanted, 
Do I have any more of those? I thought they fell on the floor. You could put just the little Hershey Kisses in here. You could put five little Hershey Kisses in there if you wanted. So, or you can do, we can do it this way. You can put the caramel in there. Or you could do, let's see, move these out. There are so much you can do with these little boxes. So did we do a mint? We did. I wonder if we can get these two in there. It might be too thick. Let's see. Nope. Nope, that won't work. So it's either two peppermint patties can fit in there and one caramel in this one. And then you can stick some mints in there or lifesavers in there, however you guys want to do that. But there are my three little candy boxes for the holidays. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you like this little idea. It's outside of the box, isn't it? <laughs> and inside the box. And I think it's absolutely darling. Um, I appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up, like, or share this video with somebody you know who might be interested. Um, please feel free to comment. Your comments are what keep me doing this. Let me hold these up so you can get a really good look at them. And then, of course, the insides. Really, really cute little gift ideas, stocking stuffers, you know, they are, and this is the center one, of course. So once again, I want to invite you to please come back and visit me in my Wonderland. Bye-bye for now, everybody.